ever wondered how these massive cables hold up to uniformly distributed load? In structural engineering, analyzing bridge cables is crucial for designing resilient, safe, and sustainable structures. In this video, I will walk you through real life examples of bridge cables to show you how qualitative analysis or simple analysis can assess these bridge cables. This is part of my video series on I Struct E Certificate in Structural Behavior or if you simply want to improve your understanding of basic structural engineering, this video is for you. So let's get started with our tutorial today. Cables support vertical load of bridge decks. This bridge deck is suspended with the help of main cables and vertical cables are termed as hangers and stiffened decks are used so that the shape of cable is not disturbed. These cables can be assumed to have uniformly distributed load. When we have a suspension cable where you have a main cable and vertical hangers supporting a bridge deck, this is a classic example of cable supporting a uniformly distributed load. There are some key facts which need to be remembered. The first one is that cables only take tension. They don't take any compression at all. They are tension only members. And we use the equilibrium to find out horizontal and vertical reactions. And one of the key things about cables is that the horizontal reaction remains uniform across the entire length of the cable and this is something i want you to remember now there is a difference between suspension bridges and cable state bridges in suspension bridges the load is transferred from main cables to towers and bridge deck is supported by vertical hangers and vertical hangers are again supported by main cable and main cable transfers the load to the towers and we have cable state bridges as well in cable state bridges load path or load distribution is different the cables directly hold the bridge deck here in Milau viaduct bridge in France you can see that the cables are supporting the weight of bridge deck here we will talk about cables supported to distributed load and there is a derivation of parabolic equation and there is a derivation for the maximum tension but i will not go through the details of this derivation i will straight away jump to the example you will have copy of these lecture notes and the link will be down in the description so we find out the cable tension using these formula and again using these formula and finally we have value of z which is the height of the cable as this parabolic equation and this parabolic equation is something that we are going to use and if you have to find out the horizontal force or reaction then you can use this formula and we also have this formula as well that we will use to find out the distance and also if you want to find out the tension max then you have this formula it must be remembered that due to uniformly distributed loading acting on the cable the cables they take the shape of parabola However, under its own self weight, it has shape of catenary. The example that I'm going to solve today is taken from this book by Mackenzie. And this is example 11.3 and I will be solving this example. The symmetric parabolic cable ABC of uniform cross section has distance of 60 meter in this figure and the cable is subjected to uniformly distributed load of 20 kN per meter acting on the steel girder beam through the hangers with equal spacing of 5 meters. 
The left support is below the right support by 10 meters and the lowest point of B of the cable with the zero slope is below left support by 10 meters. So this side is 10 meters below and this side is 20 meters below. And this is the point where you just have horizontal force. You don't have any vertical force over here. The first thing would be to find out the position of this X. We have to find out the value of support reactions A and C. Values of tension at A, B and C and the maximum and minimum values in the cable and also we have to find out the slope of the cable at support a and c part e says that if the cable has a tension capacity of 1200 kilonewton determine the maximum uniformly distributed load that can be taken by the cable before i solve this question i strongly suggest that you have a go at this question using these formula which i mentioned earlier and try this quiz first before watching this tutorial pause this video now and try it and see if you get the answer right now let us assume that point b of the cable is x distance away from the right support c and the horizontal direction this other side is 60 minus x let B be the origin of the coordinate system XZ. We're using this formula directly ZA is equal Q0 over 2H 60 minus H square. ZA is 10. ZC is 20. So we can say that Q0 over 2H X square is equal to 2 times ZA because this is double of za from here we can equate these two equations so q naught over 2h x square which is this one is equal to two times of this value which is here if we simplify it you will get one quadratic equation and if you use this uh, formula minus b plus minus under root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a this is value of x then you will get two values from here so we are just getting the positive value because negative value is not possible here this is value of a this is b and this value is c so now we have value of x that is 35.147 we will take away this value from 60 and this will give us value of the left side so once these values are found out the next thing will be to find out the horizontal reaction and the formula is q naught l square over uh, 2h q naught is 20 l is we're simply taking the right side so that's why uh, l is 35.147 square from here we can get value of h now consider the rotational equilibrium of the left support then we have 10 times h distance between h and the center point the vertical distance is 10 so 10 times h and uh, 60 times vc is creating anti-clockwise moment which is the, the reaction and udl is creating uh, this loading from here we can put values of all the variables and we get value of vc as 702 again using the vertical equilibrium summation of all vertical forces equal to zero when we put this value back in here uh, we get value of horizontal reaction now we have got both vertical reactions and we have got horizontal reaction as well in the question which is given to you you are just required to find out the horizontal reaction you are not required the other parts so the correct solution will be 618 uh, 617.65 which is roughly equal to 618 so option b is the correct option you had couple of options there the option b is the correct one
Let's move to the other parts of the question. Now we have to find out tension force at A. So tension force at A will be equal to resultant force. And we find out resultant by saying square root of H square plus VA square. These values are already there. So from here we get tension as 792. At point B, you can see there is no vertical component over here. That's the reason that it is directly equal to the horizontal reaction, which is 617.65. At point C, on the other hand, uh, you will have H square plus VC square, and this will give us 935. You will always have maximum tension at a point where you have highest vertical reaction. In this example, we have highest vertical reaction at point C. So that's why we will have maximum tensile force at C, which is 935 and minimum will be at point B. Remember that horizontal force remains constant all the way through the cable. The only thing which is changing here is the vertical reaction. And at a point where we have zero angle, we will always have minimum tension because there is no vertical component at all. Part E says that if we have 1200 kilonewton maximum tension, what would be Q max? Now here applying T max is equal to TC, which is Q naught L over one plus L over 2h from here we get q max as t max over l 1 plus l over 2h remember that here l is a distance from here to the end which was 35 point something distance x which is 35.17 from here we get value of 25 point 64 kilonewton meter the applied loading was uh, 20 but the maximum capacity the maximum this cable can take is 25.6 for preparing these lecture notes i have taken reference from this examples and structural analysis by mckenzie if you want to see similar videos or if you need more structural behavior tips then watch this video series scan this barcode or click this link link will be down in description as well you can have a copy of lecture slides by going to this URL or by scanning this barcode. Thanks for watching this lecture today and I will see you in my next lecture.